of this kicky variation experiment. Comparison. Comparison. Yeah, it's a comparison. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about front kicks. And I'm going to let you teach the Taekwondo version of a front kick. Whichever variation he prefers to teach today. Because yes, there's obviously multiple. One of the main comments that I got from roundhouse kick was, Well, that's not the only way to throw a roundhouse kick in Taekwondo. Yeah, okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Anyway, moving on. So, what we're going to do today is go over our front kick that you'll see a lot in our Taekwondo forms. Okay. Um, so, this one uh, uses the ball of the foot as the striking surface. Okay, so you're thinking of your foot kind of like a spear going straight out and into the target. So, if I were to set up here, I'm going to chamber like a regular snap kick with the top of the foot. But instead of projecting my power going upward, I'm going to shoot it more forward, like a spear going forward. Again, you're lining up, and then I'm going to bring my foot as I can from my starting position to the target, one straight line, and just push it straight out there at the end. So again, pushing out at the end pushing out of the end, just really making sure I get that full extension yeah. so I get the most powerful part of the kick. Do you have a preferred target for this? Ah, uh, no, and that's why I like this kick is because you can use it as low as, you know, the legs, the groin, the right. uh, stomach, the solar plexus, the face, the chin. Perfect. Uh, really, it's just a projection of force. So the chamber itself, if I were to throw the top of the leg kick or top of the foot kick, and then the ball of the foot kick, everything is the same up to that last moment where the top of the foot, I relax and I let it snap out and back. Right. Whereas the ball of the foot, I kind of tense up at the end to really extend the leg fully yeah, yeah. before I re uh, rechamber. Gotcha. <laughs> so you're really thinking driving the knee at them, and then at the last second, redirecting and pushing. Exactly. And gotcha. this kick, you know, positive negative is that it's very focused on its target, meaning that the, the distance that I need and the target that I'm hitting yeah. need to be. Uh, right. Perfect. Whereas yeah. if I were to think of like a push kick, for instance, right. I am hitting this target height, right. and it doesn't matter if I'm close to you, yeah, if I'm right. far I from have you. all of this variation. Exactly. Right. Whereas with the ball of the foot, it's more specific in that I need a certain range in order to get that kick out right. to hit, really maximize the power on impact. Right. Because your foot's specific point behind the knee rather than front. Yeah. So if, if I crowd it and you went to throw it, then I'm going to get jammed up. You get jammed. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But once you're out there, you can Anderson Silva somebody's nose hole. That's the idea. Which means stab. Stab. Right, all right. Literal translation stab and tie. Cool. Foot jab, call it many different things, but it's Foot a little jab. different from okay. a push kick. I use it, you know, you use it offensively, defensively. Lots of vari variation you can use. So when I teach the teep here, I, again, I said I was taught by Samart uh, in 2014 when I went there, he, lucky enough to show me this, which is it's pretty amazing considering yeah, right. he's like the Muhammad Ali of Muay Thai. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flatten my back foot, and it's not straightforward. Here, grounded. So I'm, I have a better base here, and then when someone's rushing in, I got to be able to teep and not get pushed back. Okay. So I'm going to ground my back foot. My hands are up, obviously. I bring my knee up first. Knee leads the dance on this one. Knee comes up, and then I stab a stabbing motion here. So I bring it up and back. So the stab helps me retract that kick a lot faster, as opposed to just pushing it out there because yeah. I don't want this to happen if they move, right? Right. I'm going to bring my knee up, teep, and if they if they were to move, I can still maintain my balance. Yeah. So the knee comes up. Nice and relaxed, flatten the back foot, knee comes up, I'm grounded here so I'm not moving. I'm pushing my opponent, my opponent isn't pushing me. So knee comes up and I'm using the ball of my foot as opposed to the flat foot, I'm gonna use the ball of my foot. My old trainer, Dan Chai, Dan Chai Yuta Kid, he would say, to kill, use your toes. Like in karate, you guys hit stuff with your yeah, toes. Yeah, yep. Same thing, I dig my toes in there, dig my toes in the ribs, yeah, whatever right. I'm hitting, Small, makes it more painful. Smaller surface area, so yes. yeah, more pressure behind a smaller point, which digs in better. And it's a stabbing motion. Stabs. So I'm bring my knee up, stab it in, right. maintain my balance. This arm, swing, gives me a little more. This hand stays up, and I swing and teep. So I want to be able to bring my knee up, teep, 
bring it right back down. Yeah. So if there was a bucket here, I'm gonna pick it up out, boom, put it back in. Gotcha. So I don't wanna be changing my, my stance here. Okay. So this arm swings, this arm. Personally, I like to drift in front of my face when I'm kneeing or teeping. It just gives me a little bit more protection this way. As yeah, opposed right. to just holding it here and teeping. Sure. They may have a straight attack that'll land because I'm on one leg. So gotcha. he comes up, teep, back. Gotcha. Pull that core in nice and tight. He comes up, teep, back. So I'm on the bag here, up, rounded back foot so I'm not getting pushed off my base. Up, back. One more time, and up. So, front kicks. You've already gotten the whole intro now. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let Mr. Street Master himself, Mr. Street Mr. Master, Mr. Dirty Gravel Kickboxing. Dirty Gravel Kickboxing. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Right, right. Front Set kick. me up. Front kick tutorial. Teach me front. Oh, kick. front kick. That is the best kick. It's also my best kick. Yeah. Uh, the front kick that we do is a little different than every other front kick. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Half the time I do this stuff, people are like, oh, we totally do it that way in right. my martial art, you know, sure. or your martial art, whatever. Yeah, right. uh, and I think you're starting to see this more in the UFC, and you're only going to start to see it more in the UFC. Perfect for MMA, perfect for self-defense. Mm -hmm. Getting some of the speed from the snap kick yeah. and some of the oomph from the push kick. Yeah. We do a little bit of both. I do a I keep a hits tucked under, yeah. kind of. And help me out, this might be karate stuff, I don't know. I feel like it's a little more karate-ish than Muay Thai-ish. Okay. I don't know. Keep our hips tucked under, and we chamber but we also drive and snap at the same extent. time. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And there's still some oomph into it, right. but also some speed to it. Right. That's the way we do it. I like it for self-defense because I like a box. Yeah. So when I put it in with the boxing, it comes out quicker Yeah. and I don't have to, right. I don't have to go, doesn't have to be I'm good. gonna kick you. Right. All right? Yeah. That's me. Tell them what you do with your foot. The ball of the foot. The ball of the foot. The ball of the foot is super duper hard. Okay. It's the ball of the foot, keeping the hips tucked under. I'm I'm stabbing. We call it the stab kick. Yeah. Because it, it's about a mindset thing. Sure. I'm trying to hurt you. Yeah. I'm trying to cause pain and surprise. Right. Which for MMA and self defense, the reason we like doing it this way, pain and surprise is more important than like creating space. Yeah. Or yeah. every kick having to be a knockout kick. Sure. We stab because I'm going. Yeah, that hurts. You that hurts the front foot too. Yeah, or, well, either or, but I like the front foot yeah. because I I get I have a narrow stance and I stay heavy on my back foot. Sure. Right. Cool. But this it's the same kick from there. Yeah. But I'm like chambering and pushing. Yeah. As we've noticed, all of these styles have the same techniques. They just start from a different place. But then also for the front kick, it's super dependent on where your person's body is. So if Mike is like a Muay Thai fighter and his body's leaning a little bit further back and he's even upright, I'm pushing up to down. So it makes sense to go this way. You meet it at a parallel. Right. Or a perpendicular line, sorry. Perpendicular, yeah. So I'm meeting you perpendicular. If you're leaning forwards like we are in MMA or whatever, yeah. where you have to worry about that, that well, hit getting taken, right, 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 you meet it opposite. Right. Up. You hedge your bets. You sort of don't. Right. The context dictates it. That's yeah. what that's what really changes. What are you trying to accomplish by it? Right. There you have it. Front kicks, all the same, all very different. Also, it's the best kick. What's it? It's the best kick. Well, objectively speaking. Side kicks. No! I have the course out. Front kick focus. Link in the description below. Like setups. Right. All kinds of like trick. We do some conceptual stuff, yeah. but also those one-off. Those sexy sparring yeah, right. tricks. Do this yeah. one weird trick to piss off sparring partners. I helped them make it so we know it's good. Subscribe, I'll kick you. Wow! <laughs>